Well, hello, Instagram. Happy Thursday. So excited to have all of you join today. Hello, Talia. How are you? Or Talia. Either way, I was hopefully getting it right. Peaches Insider. Hello, Lavish Goddess. You guys are logging on quick today. I love it. Doop 78. Something three extra special, three times extra special. You're special to me. Thank you for being here. Happy Thursday, Tondra. So happy to see you guys. Tiff Marie MD, you're back. So happy. Now, some of you are saying, how do we know if we won the contest? So I'm not sure if you're asking about last week with Kenya Moore, or if you are asking about the one that is currently running right now on Money B. So we will make sure that when Rev Air logs in that we link Money B's account here for you guys, because we do have over on her page, a contest running and she will announce the winner over there. So if you are wondering about the Kenya Moore giveaway, you can actually go back and watch our uh, IGTV where Kenya joined us and you can watch those two different Instagram videos videos and see if you were one of our amazing winners. You would have been contacted more than likely, believe me. We try to get right on it and ship things right out. Tiff Nelson says she loves her Rev Air. Tell me what you love the most about it. I would love to know. Team Rev Air is saying that all winners were tagged and DM'd. So that means that you didn't win, but you should absolutely try going over to the Money Bee page, which Team Rev Air just put in the comments now, and they are running a giveaway at this very moment. So you should pop over there as well after this live and make sure that you enter to win. And then next week, I have a bit of news right here on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. As always, I'll be here with Ladosha Wright, and um, I have some fun news to share next Thursday as well. So hopefully you will all be back then. Tiff Nelson said that she loves her reverend. She says, my hair is always manageable and always looks amazing. I'm so glad you love it. You know, um, I know that it's an investment and once you have it, you think, oh my gosh, I can never live without it. So at first you thought, should I spend the money? And now you're like, I could never be without it. So I'm really, really glad that you are enjoying yours. And um, for any of you out there who haven't gone on to our webpage, myrevair.com, and um, checked out the reviews, we have an entire review section and the five-star reviews that come in are amazing. Um, oh, thank you, Wafali. Thank you so much. I am trying so hard to grow it out. Um, you guys are probably like me where you grow your hair long and then you cut it really short because you can't stand it. And then as soon as it's short, you say, I wish I'd grow it out. So I'm in that weird place where I'm just trying not to cut my hair right now. But I am so glad you guys are all here. Tonight we are going to talk about mine and Ladosha's 10 favorite tips, tricks, and questions that we get. So we are going to just be laying out the knowledge uh, this week. And of course, we want you guys, the struggle is real. Yes, know the feeling. It's the worst. I have to sometimes just like tie my hair back just so I won't like want to cut it. I just have to sometimes do that, but it absolutely happens to the best of us. So we are going to give tips and tricks and take questions live, but also tell you about the ones that come in again and again. And then we will be um, just dropping those pieces of advice really quick. And then as always, we will take your questions. So please feel free to send them our way. And then um, I want to let you know that we have some really fun stuff coming up. Like I said, next Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern right here, we're going to make another nice announcement that I can't wait for you all to hear. And then coming up in November, we have some other surprises for you. So we're trying to bring you guys some great content every week. We want to be able to tell you in a story, tell you our story and um, come to you each week with who we really are, you know, like. I'm no professional influencer. I'm just a gal in her bedroom, <laughs> just trying to share some uh, Rev Air love with all of you guys. And so uh, know that you can ask anything that you want. Oh, it's your birthday month, November. You're gonna have to tell us which day your birthday is. You must be a Scorpio. Uh, so 
you guys can come here, ask any questions, speak candidly. If you are scared about something with Rev Air, we wanna tell you how that works. If you feel like you're not getting the result that you wanted, let's talk through that. This is an open, safe place for all of us to really be able to say, hey, this is what's happening with my hair, or these are the questions I've always had. So with that in mind, I saw that Ladosha joined us just a little while ago. I wanted to give you guys all a little bit of time to log in, and now we're gonna jump in. So let me get Ladosha for us. Oh, it says I'm waiting for Marika. I must have hit the wrong button, but Marika, if you're there, one day I'd love to meet you. Let me try L Wright Books again. Ah, it says unable to join. Maybe she has to pop out and pop back in. So I will wait for Ladosha to pop out and pop back in. November 22nd, birthdays, so fun. I don't know if that's fun to have a you got scared girl I know when you're not ready for the camera but I'm sure you look fantastic I'm so sorry I hit the wrong button I mean let me tell you I'm scared even when I'm all made up so <laughs> it gets a little nerve-wracking to go live but I give it my best shot okay let me see if Ludosha pops back in I'm gonna give it one more try technology and me let's see here Ah, I got her this time. Hi. Hi. What's Hi. happening there? I was trying to replace you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Like, woo, woo. <laughs> my, my screen is a little... Happy, bad. happy Thursday. <laughs> happy Thursday. High fives. It's Thursday. I'm so excited. Yay. Well, I've always loved my time with you. You know that. And I like live for the energy you give me as well as what all the commenters do. As I was getting started, I was like, oh, I am particularly tired this Thursday. And then I'll you get on and you see all the love and you're like, oh, okay, I live for this. This is my energy. So <laughs> that's hey, look right. At your, look at all your cute bracelets. All, my, this, all of this stuff, it came from um, the Gambia. So all, when I was in the Gambia, I got gifts like every single day. I got so many gifts. So this is from um, one of the tribes, actually in Ghana. So all of these have like special meanings and all this cool stuff. Always wanted to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So They're I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm feeling super fantastic Gambian yeah. magic today. How's that? The uh, the uh, <laughs> colors are fantastic. I'm Ooh. wearing today. This this wasn't even a plug, but now that you're talking about your bracelets, I feel like I want to talk about mine. So here, I'll take it off. There's this uh, brand called, I don't know if they pronounce it Sea Bonds or Sea Bones, but it's C, -bones. C as in crystal, B-O-N-Z. And they create these great little fabric watches. Oh! And you can buy them with what they already have um, in them. Or if you have something special, like I like 1111, because that's like an angel number on your TV or whatever. Okay, okay. <laughs> so... When you see it, so I had one made with 1111 in it, and it's so fun. So if you guys are all looking for a fun Christmas present for someone, that's a good one. But I, I like it. Ghana. I'm with. Go to Ghana and get beautiful this, bracelets. Woo! I want the woman. Yes. Oh, watch out, y'all. <laughs> so for those of you who are just joining us for the first time, um, I want to let you know that Ladosha is our resident Rev Air expert, and she's super fantastic and I love her and she is not only a hairstylist so she's not only a rev expert a master colorist but she's also a trichologist which is someone who studies the hair and the scalp she is a formulator of her own line she's an author of two books and her Amazon store is opening next week she said that's right I mean that is a process so I know we've been teasing that for a few weeks but oh my yeah Oh, Amazon. Woo! Right? So, <laughs> yes, Ladosha is the best. I agree. So, tonight, Ladosha and I have decided we're going to give you our 10 favorite tips, tricks, and questions that we get about Rev Air. So, Ladosha, would you like to start with number 10? All right. So, number and 10. We don't know each other's really. So, this that's is right. kind of fun. Uh, that's <laughs> right. So, so, here's the thing. So, a lot of people 
have some hesitancy. I heard you talking about that earlier, about the efficacy of Rev Air. And then we also, because I have some customers who buy it, and they're like, it's just not quite working. I don't know. When I come to the salon, it works good, but at home, it's not working right. So what we want to do is give you guys these top, I'm a, I, I, I actually did a video, and I called them Rev Air Afro Hair Hacks, okay? So okay. these are going to be some quick tips. So the first, so I'm going to start with number 10 on my list. So uh, number, but I want you guys to know that when it comes Wait, to, now this is all hair, okay? Did you, did you make up 10 of Yes, them? I sure did. Oh, wow. Well, I made, I made up 10. <laughs> okay, well, then, ladies and gentlemen, we are changing to our top 15 <laughs> favorite. <laughs> okay, girl, you go ahead. For every two, you do all of okay. them. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, all right, okay. So now, so here's the thing that we want people to understand is that when it comes to using the Rev Air on textured hair, now I don't want to be offensive, okay? So y'all got to kind of work with us on this or, or work with me because this is my tip, okay? I, I know that a lot of us have the propensity to put the shampoo in our hands and do this, but I'm telling you guys, when it comes to Afro hair, that won't cut the mustard okay? and if you have really long hair that won't cut the mustard e either so my number 10 tip is make sure the hair is so duper clean because when the hair isn't clean you don't get the full one two you know one two of the uh, rev air <laughs> so make sure your scalp is nice and clean so I have my little uh, manicure. This is Nay Nay. This is my manicure. Nay Nay. Nay, Nay that was my little. My, this is Nay Nay right here. So, um, so Nay Nay is sure that you want to mm -hmm. section your hair and make sure you put the shampoo on your scalp and you guys want to scrub that scalp. Now, I know we have this whole tender headed issue, but I broke this tip down into two so, the, so that I can break down how to overcome that tender headedness. So, you want to go with yours, or do you want me to go with the No, you go issue? two, I go one. <laughs> okay, so, so let me tell you guys when it comes to being tender headed, I don't want you all to feel bad. I don't want you all to tease yourselves. I don't want you to tease each other. And if it hurts, I want you to go ahead and cry. You want to know why? Because this is why the Rev Air is so great. Because there is an actual muscle. You see that? It's called the erector pili muscle. And when you go to pull that hair, you know what? It really does that hurt. Hurts. So tender headedness is not a joke. And so that blow dry that you're used to tugging, when you use the Rev Air and you put the device, you know, on top of the hair, guess what? It's not pulling the erector pili muscle. How's that, Crystal, for a funky wow. dope tip for how to wow. use the Rev Air, okay? Did you guys yeah. like that hit the heart button, okay? Oh, so we yeah. just broke down if tender you headedness. Like, if you guys are all going to put erecti, how do you say it again? Erector. Erector. I will type that in there. <laughs> say the name again. Pillai muscle. The erector pillai. Pillai. You guys are going to find somewhere this next day to say erector pillai just to see if somebody knows what the heck you're talking about. I hit the heart button. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for my tip? All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So people are saying that it's a little, it's a little rough of a connection. Is mine showing a rough connection as well, you guys? Maybe two yeah, or is it me? Mayor can tell me, or is it Ladosha that's showing it? I see hers is blurry, but then again, I only see myself, so who, like, who knows if that's me? So I'll wait just a second so that we can try to remedy it. We might have to move your, move your uh, phone around. So Crystal is blurry too. Crystal's blurry too. Okay, well, I don't know what else to do. I bought a new modem. I bought a new router. I upgraded my internet to the business edition. Hold on. I'm going to open some doors. Hold on. Am I blurry? Can you guys see me? Are we better? Am I better? Thumbs up if I'm better. <laughs> oh, they said both of us. They said we're both blurry.
Okay, I see Ladosha spinning right now. Uh, okay. Team Ref Air said we both are. I know, I don't know why. I try. Keep going and hope that it will work itself out because I'm not sure. New modem. New new modem, new uh, router, upgraded service. So I'm going to give it a try. Everyone's saying when I opened a door, we became. Okay, she said it's okay, better. Okay, you're better at the top. Okay. Here we go. They said, yeah. She said, Liz, where are we getting cool. there? Uh, are we getting we really Okay, need better. Thank you, Beauty. Thank you. Thank you, Beauty, on the DM. Okay, it's getting better. It's getting right? better. So remember, um, remember when uh, you used to have a big boom box and you would just be like, <laughs> you would just be like rocking it. So I'm going to just put this on my, on my shoulder and pretend it's a boom box. So here's what I want to talk about for my first tip is that oftentimes people say that rev air can be a bit loud or their children will say that. Um, I don't find it louder than my blow dryer really like a, when you had a blow dryer next to you, that is loud. So to me, it's not that loud, but here is how you can adjust that. So up here where you have your power button, if you're, you have sensitivity or someone else that you're using it on has sensitivity, maybe you're in a salon environment where you just kind of want to get everybody acclimated to the sound, you have it turned down to zero. And when the tension dial is turned down to zero, it makes no noise at all. So what you do is you just slowly, as you turn it on, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up to your speed, right? As long as it does the job, I don't care how loud it is too. It could sound like a jet to me. Now recognize it's going to sound louder right now because I'm holding the darn thing on my shoulder, but you turn it up and that acclimates people to the noise. The other thing that will change the noise is here on the heat chamber. So as you do the heat chamber, you can hear when you're on low heat, that's the sound, no heat or high heat. So if you need to adjust those sounds, you can do it in kind of two different ways. At the tension, turning it up slowly, or just going to a lower heat level if somebody is more sensitive to sound. Now what I will tell you is, um, we have heard from a lot of parents with children who have autism and they don't care for the hot air blowing on them or the sound of the dryer and sound of a blow dryer. And this works for them by using that te technique of turning it up. So sound sensitivity, that's my tip for you. All okay, girl, right. Give me two okay. More I years. think I'm going to, okay. I like that one. I like that one. I'm like, the, uh, what did she say? I think that was Wolf Hall said, you know, she's kind of used to the sounds in the hair salon. We're yeah. used to the sounds, and it also gives us a reason to turn the music up really loud. So here is going <laughs> to be my, um, here, here's my next tips, all right? So you guys know that I am really, really a big fan of Wave Goodbye and Play It Straight. So here is what I discovered um, to definitely help make your rev, using your rev air easier. Number one, less is best. Can we just say that, guys? Less, less is, is best. best. So you do not need a lot of this. So don't pump a lot. And it definitely can be used as a detangler under the uh, under the less is best theory. Okay. So don't use a whole lot. That's number one. All right. So when it comes to trying to comb out Afro hair, we know that this can be a little bit difficult. But And we're always trying, people are asking me, what's a good leave-in conditioner? Did you know, I'm going to put some in my hand, that you, I've made my own leave-in conditioner with uh, Wave Goodbye. You're going to so say you can, And I'm just going to show you, there's some water in my hand, and I just want you guys, you see that? See how I broke that down? So you can make your very own leave-in conditioner. You see that? There it is. Whoop, whoop, there it goes. You see that? And just put a little. Now, don't put a whole lot. Just take a couple of, you know, pumps, okay? And then shake it up, all right? You know, shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a polymer. Y'all know what I'm talking about, all right? Shake, 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 shake. And then <laughs> you're going to spray it onto the hair. And guess what? 
you have officially, there you go, just made your own detangler with about two little pumps. One, two, and just put it inside your rev air up and at them. Up and at them, all right? You see that? And so now you've made your very own detangling leave-in conditioner. So everybody's always asking me, what's the best? What else can I use? You can cocktail and make your own stuff. So there's my two. All right, your turn. Okay, okay. So here's my next one. My next tip is this. I'm going to turn on the device to do it. Yes, my hair is dry. I'm not trying to dry my hair. I'm just trying to show you all something. So I don't even have it. Oh. To the scalp. And you do little circles such as this or the tiniest little dabs. My bit of advice is this. No pumping. This does nothing but disrupt the airflow in here, and that can cause your hair to flap and create, create little snarls or tangles to it. You do not want to do that. So it goes up against your scalp. If you need to test it, you can pull your hair out, touch the roots, see how it's coming along. But this does nothing but undo the work that the wand is doing for you. So let the wand do the work. That's my tip. All right. We're getting somewhere. We apologize for the technical difficulty. And we thank yeah. you guys for hanging in there with us. So don't forget, I also have some of these tips are also on my YouTube channel. And it just simply says Rev Air Hacks for Afro Hair. And I'll go right into it. I promise I'm not being a chatty Cathy. So here are my <laughs> next two tips, all right? So number one, when it comes to using the rev air, don't grab your sections too thick. That's number one. If you use about, I'm gonna, I keep saying three fingers because the direction says don't go beyond the three inches because you want to get the hair dry. So if you use the smaller sections per the rev air family, you're going to maximize the use of the wand and you won't feel the need to pump because you can actually feel the air, you know, from the device drying the hair. So please make sure that you detangle the section and that you want to make sure that, you know, the sections aren't too big and that's going to lessen the, the need to want to do like the one. And then number two, when it comes to uh, making those smaller sections, whoops, I think I'm getting a little messed up. Okay, there I am. Yeah, okay. there you are. Um, so when it comes to yeah, using those smaller sections, a lot of people uh, are using the same number all throughout their hair. Now, for most people, they have sections of their hair that has more texture. So like I have Afro hair. So my kitchen is like, Your oh, my kitchen. God. Anybody know about the kitchen? I Hit do. the heart button if you know that my that kitchen, kitchen, kitchen I'm talking about. I, I'm talking hair. about, <laughs> hey, y'all, we talking about real kitchen kitchen with the dishes in the sink, okay? Mm -hmm. So my kitchen can be, all. I'm talking about my kitchen can be full of dishes, pots, and pans. But the front of my hair can be like a living room, okay? So did you know, <laughs> thanks for the heart button, you know what I'm talking about. That kitchen can be girl Say it with me, y'all. girl So <laughs> you can turn the number up just a little for if you have more texture and then turn the number down where you have less density. So if your hair is more difficult in the back or on the sides or the top, you can turn the number up. And then when it's less, you can turn the number down. So my secret is feel free to adjust mm -hmm. that number. I don't know anybody who needs to be on a five or above. I don't know. Everybody we're doing here is three and four. I've never used five. Never, wow. never, never. That's I've awesome. never used it. No. So, um, but we're doing mostly Afro hair. So remember that texture is fine. So you don't need to pull that up. And I'm making sure that I'm using smaller sections and I'm playing around with the products. Um, and I'm, I'm always in touch with them, you know, because y'all know me, I always got my little two cents, you know. Yeah, what you think about this? I'm like, LaDosha, go to bed, go to bed, LaDosha. <laughs> y'all know me, okay, all right? 
So there you go. For the kitchen with the dishes and the sink and the pots and pans, yes, turn it up. In the living room, you can turn it down, okay? That's my so two. I want to piggyback on that. So um, one thing I want to say is I've noticed because, you know, I go, just like I go through phases, like I was telling everyone today, um, how like my hair grows and I'm like, chop it off. And then as soon as I chop it off, I'm like, I want long hair, right? So what I also do is I go, add some highlights. And then I go dark in the whole thing. <laughs> it's like this vicious circle, right? Like I'm never satisfied. So I have found that like I had sections right here that were particularly blonde at one time. And when I would rev them, I would have to rev them on a lower tension setting because I had done so much damage <laughs> over time to those. So I could rev higher in the healthier parts of my hair and then where I bleached it into like, you know, submission. I like, yeah. So, so that was a really great tip. The other thing is we had a question that popped up and I didn't want to go without discussing it, which is um, somebody said, are we sure that high heat won't damage your hair in rev air? So try colleges, talk to us about that. All right. So here's the thing when it comes to high heat. Remember, they're all dryer. If you're going to use a rev air, and if you're using a blow dryer, or if you're using a, a hooded dryer, okay? The, the devices are to help prep the hair for the next phase of style, be it braiding, flat ironing, twisting, you know, afro. So don't use the heat as the cure-all. The beauty, I see someone's on here like, I'm going to know heat challenge, y'all. Help us, sister. Yeah, beyond, out, beyond right? the okay. beauty on so, a dime. Beauty okay, so, so we beauty, we don't yeah, so, we, yeah, we, she, she we said, don't hey, I'm on the, she said, I'm on, I'm on a no. Okay. So, so here's the thing about heat. Heat gets a bad rap, and I say this in my book, what they don't tell you at the hair salon, okay? You have a book? I, I have a, I, that's right, so. Heat is like the cook. You know how they say, that chicken was nasty. It was cooked too hard. Is it the heat or is it the cook? Okay, it's the cook. So when it comes to using heat on the hair, Great it's example. almost always, it's actually, it's the user. Because I know you guys ain't gonna believe it because what we're going through in the United States, but I trust me, the FDA does not allow any manufacturer to do anything to the hair that's going to take it off. And when they find out, they get rid of them. That's the truth because you, the consumer, have the power. You, the consumer, are why Crystal and I can be here and you guys are holding companies like us accountable. So the heat is never a problem. It's an option. Some hairstyles do not require heat. So um, beauty on the dime, you won't even have to worry about using it because if you don't want to use any heat, guess what, baby? You do not have to. But if you're going to use heat, I'm just I'm I'm just saying this because I'm in love with Rev Air. I ain't saying this because you we know everybody you. at the hair salon. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm keeping it straight up, 100% rough, rugged, and raw. This thing right here. Is the best thing for your hair if you have difficulty with how to use that blow dryer. And if you hate that hooded dryer, this is going to be your thing. And so your curl pattern intact is a protein issue. You're either combing it incorrectly or you're not using protein. So that really, again, wouldn't be the heat. Or the other caveat could be the hair isn't clean, so the pattern won't come back. So you definitely want to use some protein, make sure you're combing it, and above all people, please, please, please wash your hair. Don't shampoo it. Wash it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, my turn. So now I'm going to go back to the rev here. And I'm going to show you once again, my hair is dry. I'm just trying to show a tip, so I'm not trying to say that it's drying, but I will put it on high heat like I normally would when I dry my hair. And when I'm drying certain sections, I want to make, somebody said, I really want to try the Rev Air for real. And I want to be able to afford it. So we do have payment plans. So check those out. Okay. So I have it on high heat right now. 
And say I were drying my hair and I would be drying this top section and this is where I want some volume. I just take the switch here and I switch it to no heat. And I leave it there for like, I don't know, another five, 10, 15 seconds. And I allow it to do a cold shot. And what I'm doing there is allowing my roots to dry straight up so that it can create some volume in a section. So if you are somebody who doesn't have as much texture to the hair and isn't trying to lay it down as much, but also wants to create some volume, all you have to do is that and then pull it out and you've got volume without- Gola! Gola! Come on, y'all, let's say it with it. One, two, three. Gola! That's what I'm talking so Woo! This, side, this side I didn't do that to. This side I did it to. And just with like the ruffle of my fingers, the roots are done. And then you can straighten out that so you'll get some, some move to it. All right. Somebody said yes, yes, yes. Girl, love. that's what we're talking about. And again, that was also <laughs> able to be achieved because when you put the red air on top this ain't a white thing y'all this happens for i i do the same thing when you put the rev air on top it's going to vibrate that muscle and it's also going to help the hair stick up because the erector pili muscle is the muscle that's responsible for why we have goose bumps okay the, so the that's why she's you, the witch muscle the, the, mentioned it today. yes <laughs> yes, yes. The erector pili muscle is responsible for our goosebumps. And when we get goosebumps, what do we say? The hair stood up on my back. I got a big back and I can't not lie. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, so that's why she got that volume. Now, I, I like that tip. So here goes my tip. Now, someone, uh, I think her name was Mykia. Mykia, let me help you out, my home girl. So she said that her pattern is very sensitive. Okay. Again, this is how the rev air is going to help, which is also my next tip. A lot of times with Afro hair, let me just pull Nene up. So here goes <laughs> Nene. So you see Nene hair like this, the hair is all dry. So a lot of times with Afro hair, people will get the comb, right, Makia? And then they'll start, you know, I got to get, I got to get the soul in there. Okay, don't do that because when you do that, that's when you start to compromise the pattern, especially if you're using a wide tooth comb. If you're using a wide tooth comb, y'all gonna make some folk very rich. It ain't gonna beat me and Crystal, okay? So <laughs> throw away those wide tooth combs, and you guys wanna get this comb. I'm gonna ask Rev Air. That's what I said. I'm gonna. What she say? What camera on here say? What we gonna do is, okay? So I, I'm gonna <laughs> ask them if they can make a comb like this for us, okay? And Ladocha, so, um, Ladocha, yeah, I, I'm uh -huh. speaking. I'm speaking. That was my camp. That was Kamala Harris last night. I love yeah, it. I'm, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Okay. And so, um, this comb <laughs> that your the the dry state of the hair and using the wrong comb is probably giving you that optical illusion that your texture is more finer than what it is. So, what we're asking you guys to do when you use the Rev Air or any device. Please make sure the hair is soaked and wet because the wetter the hair, you're going to allow the cuticles to lay flat. The only reason why the, the hair is tangling is because the cuticles are up. Now, that had my special concoction in there where I used the red, <laughs> I mean, the, the uh, wave goodbye and some water, okay? So, um, so that's, so you can see how that works. Just that simple. And remember, you're starting down. So when you rev air your hair, make sure the hair is, you know, damp. Don't rev air from here because this will, you, it's not going to come out correct because the cuticles are already up. You better you come need, correct, Ladosha. Yeah. So, correct. so this will probably help you out. And then please make sure you're using some protein. And, and again, make sure your hair is clean. I find the number one problem to compromise texture, the number one problem to why people don't see length, and the number one problem to why people don't see volume is because the hair is not clean and they're using the wrong comb. 
So um, we're having a big event on Facebook called Textured Tales so that we can begin to debunk a lot of these Tell myths. That's, that. Yes, I, yes. I heard today that someone got an invite from you, and I'm like, I want that invite. Teresa, Teresa apparently is VIP. I know you're watching, Teresa. <laughs> anyway, you guys sent me that, but tell our audience about that so they can all join you. Yes, so this is going to be an online event. It's completely free, and they're going to oh, be... I like free. Uh, it's going to be eight scholars. You hear what I'm saying? Scholars, not lookership, but scholarship. And I'm quoting the Amon Rasquad on that, okay? Eight scholars on this panel to debunk the myths about textured tales. And so I'm going to be, I'm not pumping rev air because I'm the resident expert. I'm pumping rev air because it's, uh, it's, it's called Solutions on Real Hair for Real People in Real Life. It's just that simple. We need to, we got to stop a lot of this craziness that's taking you guys money. So I saw someone on the feed said, I don't know if I can afford it. This is definitely an investment. So if you're really not going to be, mess, you know, smoothing your hair and all this, then no, we are not here to push the device. Right. Crystal and I, we are here. Yes, yeah, this is why we're here. We're here to give you guys the information. And yes, I am located in Cleveland Heights. That's northeast. You can't get no north of the net. So yes, I am located right here. Yeah, from Macedonia. Yeah, right down the street from Macedonia. Well, not down the street. But yes, yeah, so I'm here back. in Cleveland, Very Ohio. Yeah. Right yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so this is what this is all about. So, when it comes to that texture, and I know everybody's so concerned about it, but remember, we've been given a whole ball and chain about texture hair. And so, what Crystal and I are doing is we're asking everybody in the Red Air family bring your questions to us. And then you guys help us with the language because we don't want to be offensive. We don't want to be yeah. condescending. We are here to help you guys. And the Rev Air is a device for people who have issues with tangling hair, issues with drying their hair, issues with smoothing their hair, issues with hating their hair, yeah. issues with being hair shamed. You know, all these real life issues that people with textured hair, very long hair, very fine hair, thinning hair. All customers don't have hair this thick. Some customers have receding hairlines, but they still want to wear their own how hair. Do they, so how do they find this? On Facebook? They go to the search. Yes, you go to Facebook. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's on. A-L-E-S. Yes, Texture Tales. Stories. Yes, that's right. And so it's on Chill Talk. He's going to be the moderator. So I will make sure I keep putting that um, on my page or Instagram so you guys can see it. I got about 500 Instagram pages. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it better, okay? So, yeah, text your tales, and you guys are going to answer a lot of questions. And so Crystal and I, you know, we're here to help debunk a lot of those tales. Yeah, and have, like, an level. open conversation. Like, yes. Lisa and I have this real, like, open-door policy with one another that she knows my heart, so I can ask her a question, and she never takes it from this position of, like, I'm being offensive. What I'm trying to do is what I promise to do, which is learn more about how I can better support those in the black community. And if I can't have that conversation without being comfortable, I'm never going to be able to learn it. Right. So Ladosha and I talk about all sorts of stuff and she's taught me so much. I think chief among it is that the myth that um, textured hair is only for black women. There's black women who, who have less textured hair than I do. There are white women who have more textured hair than you do. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's not about skin color. It's about hair right. texture. So I'm so super That's excited. Right. Um, so yeah. here you're going to be doing that. So um, I don't know where we ended on our list there, doll. But did you have any more? I have one tip left. Okay. I think I have, that was it. My last one was just clean hair. So yeah, okay. there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So last one of the day, unless all, any of you guys have uh, questions for us, because we're here, like I said, always to have candid and safe and loving conversations about beauty. But here is my last tip for you. So if you ever wanted to hide a camera in my house and see me freak out, what you need to do is be somebody who doesn't read the quick start guide and just turns on the device to what they think is a seven and then puts it on their hair and says, this thing doesn't work. 
And so, and then you post it on the internet to tell the world that it didn't work, but you didn't read the directions. So here is what I want to completely let everybody know. This is your heat levels. No heat, low heat. I hate to even call it high heat, warm heat. These are your heat levels. This is your tension levels. So oftentimes people will say, I had it up to seven and it didn't dry my hair. This is not where the heat will come from. This is how much tension, suction, or pull will be happening to your hair. If your hair is not drying with the rev air, this is where you go because you may not have the heat on. And we've watched some of the biggest influencers out there make that very mistake where you get so so in tune with the base and what you're doing there that you kind of forget this part. Or even myself, there's been times when I'll have it on and it's just such the easiest flip of the switch that I would have accidentally turned it down. So as you're getting to learn it, yes, you're like, why is my hair not drying right there? And you look and you go, oh, like I accidentally flipped the switch to no heat. So make sure you realize that your heat is taken care of on your wand and your tension is taken care of on your base. So that was my like, I know it seems simple, but it's a great way if you get your rev air and you're saying, this thing doesn't work you like they said it would. Check to make sure you're using your heat and tension levels correctly. Um, and anytime someone tells me they had their heat on a seven, I say, uh-oh, impossible. <laughs> you're going to be so <laughs> excited because this is an easy fix. So um, that is that is mine. Yeah, yeah. And that, you know, just to, again, just to kind of piggyback off of the whole um, the heat and tension setting thing. Sure. I think another thing that's really, really important that we want you guys to, I, and we maybe we haven't said it because we're just being like general with all these questions. But if we have to break this down to the very last compound, what we're telling you guys is that we know that no two heads of hair are alike. You know, right. hair, hair is as unique as the person on the head which it lies. So with that being said, no two humans, not even identical twins, have the exact same hair. The beauty of the rev air and the beauty of us going live is that we can customize. And that's the word we want you guys to understand is to customize. Don't be afraid to have, you know, to play around and try different things. And really, no joke, write it down. Like, yeah. did that work? Did it not work? Because this is a journey. I mean, we can do all different types of things with our hair depending on whatever. Politics, mood, you know, boo thing, you know, spinning, <laughs> you know, activity. So we're right. always doing something different to our hair. What we want you guys to know is that you can do that, but you want to customize. And there's no cookie cutting. So reading is very key. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an author and I'm, a, I'm an active reader, but I can tell you, if you think about how much we read, we read signs when we're driving, we read signs, you know, when we're, um, you know, recipes, we read a lot. So it's really, really, really important to understand that that whole customization it comes with that reading. And sometimes you can read stuff and you're like, I, it still don't make sense to me because that's how I am. Right. I can well, read we have something. So many videos online. And I'm like, I, it don't make sense. But this is why we are here. And this is why we appreciate you guys so much. All 22. 22, that's a special number. I see 22 people on this piece. She just said 11. 11. And then she said 22. Y'all see how that's working out? All right, boom, boom, boom. Everybody say it with me. Go love. That's our new word, so Crystal. We have, we have a couple of, yeah, 11, 11. So we have, some, um, we have some questions, and I wanted to answer a few of them. And then I realized we only got to 14 because I skipped one of mine, and now I have one more tip for everybody. So um, the first question I can answer, and I'll have you answer the second one. So the first one is talking about what the price of the device is. So we're um, running promotions. We have different things. If you sign up for our e-blast, all those different things happen. And you can buy the device singularly or in a package called the RevAir Total Package. So if you head on over to myrevair.com, you'll be able to see everything that's available. Also, um, never fear, you can also finance it. 
So you can do that through PayPal credit right on our site, or you can do it through Afterpay right on our site as well. So it allows you to break it up into payments. And we do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you will get your money back if within 30 days, you're not happy with it. Now that really doesn't happen. <laughs> and, and you know, if you are in Cleveland, they can come here. If you live in Cleveland and you want to try before you got, you know what guys, come on up. I, was I got you back. Say, we yeah. have a salon locator that if you want to try before you buy one, you can call one of the stylists on there. It is at the stylist discretion. If they choose, if they uh, charge you to come in and look at it. But what I will tell you is um, they are great resources, all of them out there. And then um, people wanted to talk about what kind of products are safe to use with Revair. So after you answer that, I'm going to hop in and give this last little tip. Okay, so the products that are safe to use with uh, Revair are the same ones that are safe to use uh, with blow dryers. So just like you wouldn't put a slap of oil and start taking that blow dryer to your hair because the oil is going to prevent the hair from drying. In the case with the rev air, it's going to break down the device because remember that thing is organically made. So you got to be careful with some of these oils. You will compromise the unit. So I would say most spray leave-in conditioners, I've tried some, uh, uh, I'm a hair care junkie, okay? Right. So, um, there, so most, I can't think of a leave-in conditioner that's not safe with the Rev Air. But make sure it's a leave-in conditioner and not those curly, creamy, custard pudding, peanut butter, <laughs> jelly, you know what I'm saying? Don't use that because styling agents like gels and all that, that's for styling hair. Remember, uh, the red air is the one of the uh, maybe the second or third stage to styling. So don't use styling products with the device. Only use your favorite leave-in conditioner. Um, and I wait to use oil after I'm done. And if you want to hit it with the blow dryer afterwards, you can. Honestly, I can say. I use the Rev Air like 90% of the guests from start to finish. I have a few guests that I have to use the blow dryer, but I would just say any leave in conditioner is relatively safe to use with the Rev Air. My favorite is uh, Infusium 24. Over the yes. Over the counter. I know you, you shared that one a couple of times. I'm like, I need to go get some of that. Um, so the other thing I wanted to tell you is I, I'm so it just always makes my heart so happy to read this feed and see how many people are like, I have to try this. I have to try this. Like, I really want to try it. So I want to tell you all this because I never really mention it um, on here. And it's important that I do, especially with the holidays coming up where everybody's like, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Kwanzaa? What do you want for Hanukkah? Whatever you celebrate, we do have gift certificates or gift cards that go electronically to people. So if you are like me, I would say, hey, grandma, if you'll put 100 towards that, you'll put 25 towards that, you'll put 50 towards that. Before you know it, you'll have a red hair. So uh, remember to tell everybody in your life that you want them to uh, help you to get a red hair, and that's a great way to do it. So yeah, the last these, tip. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Someone asked about heat protectants. Um, the, the, the Tribology line has heat protectants in it. Okay. So a leave-in conditioner is also a heat protective. But, you know, if you use heat protective, y'all know y'all will have to pay more money, right? But y'all didn't hear from me and Crystal. Y'all didn't hear from us, okay? But a leave-in conditioner, that will definitely double as a thermal protective and definitely the tribology line. So don't run out and buy a thermal protective. Yep, we got it built in. Okay, so the last tip, and then we'll sign off for the evening, is um, you all should – head over to Money Bee, not only because of the tip I'm about to tell you, but because she is hosting a giveaway right now. So again, we'll have Rev Air put it in the uh, comments here and drop it into the comments when I post this to IGTV so that you can head over to Money Bee where we're having a Rev Air total package giveaway worth $499. So make sure to enter that. But the last tip I will tell you about, um, about, Money B is on her page. She has this amazing way that she shows you how she makes her hair even have more defined curl using Rev Air. So what you'll want to do is head over to that Money B page. She, I, I think it's only just two or three posts in and she uses the Rev Air in a video for you. And she is twisting her beautiful curls, drying them, 
with Rev Air. So the twists like go into the wand, then they come out and she takes them out and then pieces them apart. And she, I mean, this hair, it's like goddess worthy. It's just like, whoa, yeah. the yeah. light comes down from the sky and just like is on her. So um, everybody should head over there to know that you don't just use Rev Air to straighten your hair. Yes, straightening and stretching is our game. But what I will tell you is our users are teaching us new ways to use it. So drying locks, drying dreads, drying weaves, drying wigs, drying extensions, like all of that can be accomplished as well. Yeah, that's all true, right, that's true. All, all right, right and then last, everybody where they can find you and all of your goods, my love. All right, so quickly, you got to use your leave-in conditioners. Start from the ends, okay? okay. Someone asked, how do you do that? Make sure you start from the ends. Um, my books and all of my goods are um, available at lrifebooks.com. The Amazon page is coming, and then the hair care products. You can go to the website, or you can go to Shopify Global Hair Care and get the hair care products. And uh, I think that's how. And you know, just Google Adosha. You know, uh, everything gonna pop up except my baby dead. <laughs> I still want to hear that story <laughs> because if he doesn't pop up, I need to know more. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys, I want to say thank you so much. I love how uh, committed you guys are to our lives and how week after week I'm seeing not only recurring names, but new names. So you can join us here every Thursday. Next Thursday, we have a really fun announcement that I haven't even shared with Ladosha yet. So next Thursday, we'll be in the same place at 7 p.m. Eastern right here on Instagram Live. Ladosha, why don't you sign us out? All right, let's sign us out to keep your hair from being hard. Make sure, like she said, you have that heat on and the tensor setting. Turn it down, sweetheart, and that's going to help you out. And you can also check out my pages on YouTube, and that's going to help you out right now. But in the meantime, you know what we say when we're always signing out, right? A whole lot of peace, a whole lot of love, and a whole lot of hair. And if you ain't got no hair, ain't interested in no hair, can't grow no hair, I can't stand hair. Don't worry. <laughs> Just rub your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ball head. All right? Girl. Girl. <laughs> See you guys next week. <laughs>